All right, what's up, YouTube? This is Car Addict. I'm gonna make a short video, and for the first time in the history of the Car Addict YouTube channel, I actually mean what I say. It's gonna be a short video. So, I got this crap. They also make one called Heat, and uh, that's so your car will warm up faster, because if you walk outside and it's 47 degrees outside, it sucks waiting for your heater, or especially in the mornings where it's like 30 degrees. So, uh, this is a super coolant, but I'm wondering, the other stuff says in fine print, it'll also make the car run cooler. Maybe the stuff designed to run the car cooler will make it warm up faster. So we're gonna check that out. I got my stopwatch, 47 degrees outside. I'm gonna hit start, uh, let it just sit here and idle for 30 seconds, then I'm gonna drive easy. And I'm gonna time it uh, till I get to 160. As far as making your car run cool, I know this stuff works. If your cooling system is sufficient maybe it doesn't make as big of a difference but now picture you got an EG hatch you take out that crappy little 72 horsepower whatever it is 1.5 and you put a V18 in it but what you don't do is get rid of the radiator that's this thick and this big around Washington State it was fine even in the summer I just was fine uh, now a little bit fast forward I took it to California I am in Wairika North, uh, North, Wairika, uh, Red Bluff area, and picture me at a stoplight, just cannot wait for the green because I'm not moving, and I got the heater on full bore. When I'm cruising and the wind's coming in, it was not as bad, but just sitting at lights with your heater blasting so your car doesn't overheat, that's almost worse than sitting in a car, it's too cold. Um, put a bottle of this in. And then the only problem I continued to have was instead of overheating in 15 minutes or less, uh, in about an hour and a half or two, I'd notice it would start running a little bit warmer. So I'd get out, and for whatever reason, this is the stuff that always make its way to the overflow first. I'm, I'm guessing anyways, because all I would have to do is slowly crack the cap, let the pressure bleed, pour the overflow back into the radiator, what it would take, cap it, and I'd be good for almost two hours again. So anyways, uh, I'll get the show on the road. All right, we're closing on two minutes, and we're at 114. Three minutes in, we're at 127. Four minutes in, we're at 143. Okay, closing in on five minutes at 150. All right, so we're just about to 160, 161. Six minutes and 33.64 seconds. All right, so there you go. It was six minutes, 33.64 seconds, to 160. 7 minutes 52.44 hit 170. I'll have the next test with the super coolant in the car over the next few days. I'll upload that. Uh, sorry, I don't have anything better. I was waiting on pins for my flex fuel setup and I ordered the wrong pins, so now I'm just going to splice the wire. I'll try to get that done this weekend too, maybe. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you later.